Uh, Craig. FPO Edda. 67 points, my guy. <clears throat> Solid, isn't it? Solid. Obviously not quite as good as me, but... No, it's not good. 75, is it? <laughs> nah, you'll get That's there. okay. Like, it's yeah, all right. Like, it's all right. Just feeling different, you know? Just yeah. kind of average, you know? Just a bit flat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all right. Talk me through this, bro. Uh, well, I'm happy with the defence. Vardio and Alexander-Arnold's keepers is what it is. I'm happy I went with Saka. Um, I went with Saka over Salah, and then it gave me, obviously, a little bit more to invest in the front line. So obviously I went then slanky over, say, mm. a Munez or a Wood. Mm. Or a Just on um, Gvardio, mm. because obviously he's oh, he yeah. in a lot of drafts yeah, yeah. pre-season. And I was watching the game and what I found interesting was that he wasn't the marauding left back. I don't mm. know if that was just because of the formation Pep set up with, but he looked like he was the left side of three centre-backs. So yeah. He wasn't getting as forward as much as perhaps we'd seen him previously. And is that a concern? No, I just think it's too early. I, do you know what? I think when, when Foden gets, obviously, the starts again, which probably will be next game week, mm. I think then it's different. That their, their relationship at the end of last season was great. I just loved the fact that Cavalli always would go and overlap Foden and they just knew where each other were. Um, I think that's actually what lacked for England in the Euros, not to go back there, but you know we didn't have that natural left back. Mm. Like Foden just looked lost. Like he'd obviously been <coughs> in training with somebody that was so good at doing the overlap, yeah. inverting, coming come inside. In. And they had a good like one-two relationship. That's why obviously Gavardi then got obviously some attacking returns. Mm -hmm. I think when Foden starts playing again, that it, they might switch up the formation a little bit. But let's see. I'm, I'm happy with him. I wouldn't be worried if I was you as well. No. Like, and obviously he's a bit of a cash cow as well, right? So mm -hmm. six mil, you can always downgrade to a 4.5 if I need some money. But I'm really happy with that. All right. Um, do you know, he actually, I thought that's what you were about to say. So... Last night, I checked like the Fantasy Football Fix app and it mm. said that I got 67 points. And I'd commented um, to somebody who'd posted their team something and they got 66 points. I said, oh, yeah, I've got the same as well. And I looked and I was like, 67? I was like, I've got 67. Anyway, and then I looked and I was like, where did this come from? And it's Gavardio. They, he, he all of a sudden shot into a one-point bonus oh, last yeah. night, which was a bit weird. And then a few people, and I obviously posted about it on my Twitter account. Yeah. And a few people then said... <laughs> You might get that. And then a few people were like, no, they made the caveat, didn't they, that any anything that happens sort of post-games won't change. Mm. But yeah, I woke up this morning and it changed to 67 points. So so he so it was, was 66 points. So he was night. on six he was on and six. then they, they awarded him another bonus. Yeah, yeah, he moved point. into the bonus. So he was on, he was on 30 <coughs> BPS yeah. with uh, Edison, Edison. Was it? Yeah, I saw that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was a crazy so what, one. What ticked him over over to the extra point? Know, but, like, but like to have to be 24 hours <coughs> or more later. No, but they, they did say though, didn't they? They said that Points were subject to change up until I think something like an hour after the last the game last of the game week yeah. or something yeah. like that. But this was more than so a, oh last the game last game of the game week. So up until yesterday after yeah. the Spurs yeah, game. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Okay, yeah. Fair. So there we but go. what's the last game we got to do with that game? It's a bit weird. I don't know. Cause it's like a cut off point. I don't understand. It? It's a bit weird. I don't, I don't know. know. What, I don't yeah, actually yeah. know where he was or what he was on. Like. You know, once you know your player isn't in bonus, you move yeah. on, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't actually know where he was featuring and how much he was bumped up. If anyone knows that in their chat, that'd be great. But I mean, it's a bit immaterial, but it's a bit interesting, right? To yeah. I've, ne I've never experienced that before. After where that, I've got you're looking... a point added to a player which played like probably 36 hours before. That or is like 24 hours before. I hope they added some points on my team. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Please add some yeah, points. Yeah. Official yeah. There aren't that many bonus they points need, to give out, Mo. Well, everyone gets three points. I'm all right. <laughs> I might make 60. Come on. <laughs> Smith row in there with a blank. So hey, nah. He got a three points there, bro. He's not playing. Blank, blank um, boys, right? Blank. Saka there. You're the first one out of us for this. Had I'm surprised actually out of the four team. of us that I'm the only one that's got him. Mm. But I didn't have Bruno. And I know you guys have Bruno and Son, of course. You've got Son. Um, you got Salah, obviously. Yeah. I was up, look, I was on a Salah draft all the way, really, until sort of like Thursday, Friday. And I looked at this. I think I really wanted Solanke, to be fair. Like, mm -hmm. I just thought 7.5 million seems a ridiculous price. And uh, it's kind of a position that I can maybe upgrade a bit easier to, say, get to Watkins rather than six. And I'm like, I'll just spend the money. Yeah. And then yeah. I've got 0. 0.5 in the bank. You like you, well. Yeah, yeah, I've got 0. 0.5, yeah. but I wouldn't have kept couple of mil in the bank, no chance. Nah. So it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, do you know what I'm really happy about? Because I watched it and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he didn't score big, but Morgan Rogers against West Ham looks something, man. Did he look good? Trust me, boys. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't see much and of it. And to but... the chat, five million. I'm telling you, that's, that's my stake to claim. I'm going to yeah. say he's going to be... Yeah. I spoke yeah. with a Villa fan recent as well and he okay. said, and he, he he basically made me go with him in the end because he was like, he is going to be the one this year for them. He was he playing, uh, was he playing the 10? He was playing 10. He was kind of playing 10 yeah. wing. 
Yeah. 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 everywhere, yeah. 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 driving from from central midfield as well. He's yeah. kind of kind of kind of about a bit of a free roam yeah. at points. He's playing eight, ten. He played on the wide right, at which points. is a good sign, Craig, for for Unai yeah. Emery to trust him with that role in all those different positions. Like, unbelievable! Like <laughs> right. he, he relied on him to and play. Didn't get subbed, right? No, oh, yeah, Bailey ninety came minutes off as well. When so, Bailey came oh, off. A few other. Mm. Few of the lads so when came I off, saw that, I did think, oh. For five million, this yeah. for an enabler, yeah. I'm telling you, he's going to be the one. Oh, I'm glad I got him in my team. Yeah, no, there you it go. Is, yeah. yeah, you're ahead there, yeah. definitely. Yeah, more so, more through good. luck than judgment, <laughs> but I'll take it. Um, obviously, we've covered most of the other players, but any other notes you want to say on any of the other? Players no, we in your covered team? a lot of them, haven't we? Yeah, I'm happy with Jota. Right. To be fair, cool. Slotter. And then, so okay, so game week two, yeah. then this is how we're lining up. Yeah. Um, I don't really need to do anything, do I? Yeah, I, mean, I, I get itchy feet early days, like in the season, because you just always want to like capitalise. So the Rico Lewis thing, actually, I just know that the ceiling's exceptionally high. I know it might be a problem, but we have wild card, right? So. That's the thing. If you're gonna, if you're not scared to wild card, yeah, early, I'm not well, fussed. I just go with then, the flow, right? Yeah. Then I hear you. Then it's um, a possibility. Yeah. But I don't really need to do it. It would be obviously in place of Hall. Do I think Bournemouth score probably? They look quite good with Semenya and Jibberson up front. They looked all right. I mean, they got that new strike. He might play actually. Evan Olsen. Yeah, yeah. Nilsson, yeah. So I think, <laughs> yeah, their manager's pretty good down Bournemouth. So I don't know, but I think yeah, we'll just go with go with that. To be fair, just the just, fixtures yeah. look great. To be fair, yeah, right, right, there's, right, not, I mean, there's nothing there like that you look good, at and go, yeah. oh, you like you can look at that and think, oh, you're in a good place. Everywhere, no, so you're right, in a good, it? yeah, you doesn't yeah, need to do anything. I mean, you can just stay boring. I think this weekend don't do nothing. Yeah, no trouble, captain. Leave it. I don't. I really don't know. Like I've not given it an awful lot of thought. I probably won't. I probably won't. Just in case, if that, if he did end up blanking, which I don't mm. see him blank, I think he's going to get double digits. But if he mm. did, I'd be a bit annoyed that he's I went with it. Got to get at least he's a couple. Blanking. He? He's not. If you don't get at least a couple, bro, that's a failure he's not in my blanking. eyes. Yeah.